a disposable continuous glucose monitor with just a 30 minute warm up time, 50% smaller than its predecessor. You might think I'm talking about the new Freestyle Libre 3 or the Dexcom G7, but no. These are some of the exciting specs on Medtronic's new continuous glucose monitor. So that's what I'll be talking about today. The specs, the release date, and a whole bunch of other info pertaining to Medtronic's new continuous glucose monitor, the Medtronic Simplera. So let's get started. So the first really big change is that the sensor and the transmitter are all built into one convenient part. This is similar to the Freestyle Libre 3 and the Dexcom G7. Combining the two together may seem like a small change, but there's a few reasons why this is a pretty big deal. The first is, it simplifies the process of putting on the CGM. So no longer do you have to apply the sensor first, then go ahead and tape that down, then insert the transmitter, then apply tape over that area, this whole complicated process. The process is very much simplified with this new CGM. All you do, you just open one small applicator, press it onto your arm, and you're done. So it's a lot less steps and also it's a lot less parts and a lot less waste. Another reason why combining the two simplifies the user experience is that you no longer have to charge the transmitter. Once it's reached its end of the one to two week wear time, you just toss it out and put on a new one. Next thing I wanted to talk about is the size. Because of the fact that they're no longer using this bulky transmitter, they've been able to shrink it down quite a bit. The sensor is reported to be half the size of its predecessor, the Guardian 4. And if we look at a side-by-side -side comparison of the new Simplera compared to the older Medtronic Guardian, you can see just how much smaller and thinner the sensor is going to be, which is really great to see. And if you notice, it's a much flatter profile, which is really important when it comes to CGMs, because we all know the more it sticks out from the body, the more likely you're gonna bump it on a door, on a door frame, or just anywhere else and kind of rip it off your arm or your abdomen. So seeing that it has a flatter profile is a really nice change. What about the warm-up time? This is another area that Medtronic made another nice improvement in the CGM. So the previous models required a two hour warm up time, meaning every time you put on a new sensor, you had to wait two hours before you could start using it. Well, the new Simplera reduced that warm up time down to just 30 minutes. That means the Simplera will be tied with the Dexcom G7 for the shortest warm up time of any CGM that's currently on the market. So that's another really nice upgrade with the CGM. All right, what about sensor expiration? How long can you wear this thing before you have to change it out and put on a new one? So newer CGMs like the Dexcom and the Libre, they have 10 and 14 day wear time. And previous Medtronic CGMs have kind of lagged behind in this area. They typically only lasted about seven days. The new sensor at launch is listed at, drum roll please, seven days. All right, so a little disappointing, but I do have some good news on that topic. So the good news is that Medtronic's vice president was quoted saying, at launch, it will last seven days, but in the future, they plan on doubling the wear time up to 14 days. So that's encouraging to hear. We'll just have to wait a little bit longer after it's released to get that longer wear time. Now, let's talk about arguably one of the most important areas of any continuous glucose monitor, and that's accuracy. So accuracy when it comes to CGMs is measured with a metric known as MARD, M-A-R-D. When it comes to MARD, really all you need to know is that the lower the number, the more accurate the CGM. And just to give a point of reference, the two most accurate CGMs that are currently on the market, the Freestyle Libre 3 and the Dexcom G7, have a 7.9 and 8.2 MARD respectively. And the last Medtronic Guardian, the Guardian 4, had an MARD of 10.64. So I was hoping with the new Simplera that we'd see a bit of improvement in the MARD score, a bit of improvement in the accuracy of the sensor. But unfortunately, a recent study showed the MARD of the Simplera has remained in the tens. It's at a 10.2, so there is a slight improvement, but it's still not at the level of the newer CGMs like the Freestyle Libre and the Dexcom G7. Now, this may change with additional testing, new studies, maybe some changes in the algorithm and the software, but for now, at least, it appears that accuracy is one area that the Medtronic sensor has not really improved much on. All right, so when can we expect to get our hands on this new CGM? This is always a hard question to answer, as it's generally in the hands of regulatory bodies like the FDA to dictate this. But in May of 2022, Medtronic stated they planned on submitting the sensor to the FDA and for CE mark during the summer, and as of November of this year at their recent earnings presentation, they announced it was indeed submitted for CE Mark approval in quarter one of 2023, so anytime in the next few months. 
In addition, they stated it was ready for FDA submission here in the United States. So hopefully we'll be able to get our hands on this new exciting CGM sometime soon. So let me know in the comments if you're excited for this new CGM and if you plan on trying it out once it's released. And thank you as always for watching the video.